He's kind of breaking. Okay. Second. All right. Hmm. You've come too. Oh, I like this kid. Don't worry, I'm your ally. Oh, he covered up his eye because it scared me before. Sorry, I gave you a fright earlier. My appearance must have surprised you. Oh. The wound on your face was it from my father? Don't worry about that, that's in the past. Oh, everyone has it out for father. You hate him too, don't you? Because of our hate for your father, we can't be saved. So I've come to save you. Let's, let us get away from here together. I can't. I have to save father. Oh, don't go. Some of these corpses will try to bring you into death as well. Oh, okay, you're warning me. If you stay here, they will take away your life. But I can't leave, Father. You literally are in, like, it's, like, an either live or die situation. And you're choosing death. Okay. Give up on your father. Listen to him. He has some logic. No, I'm going to save him. Let go. Listen to me. 
She has to do this. She has. Oh. oh. Okay, you killed him. Mistress. Mistress, are you alright? Marita. My voice sounds really bad because I have sore throat. Mistress, mistress, why will you not escape? Well, there. Do the doctor to me, please. You have my word, I will bring him back. So please, mistress, you must flee somewhere safe. You just. Maria, let me go with you. I'm happy to you, Miss Doctor Moore. And what lies ahead, well. I know it must be difficult. I shall go ahead alone. Oh, it would seem that she's coming to meet me. My lady, you shall not do as you please. I shall settle this. So, she killed my friend. He's not moving, he's dead. I guess I'll go after Maria. Oh. I'm going to give this guy food. Oh, there's there's ham. I just knew something bad. Well, okay, now it's fine. Give this guy food. Give him. Yeah, I know, I'm giving you food. Um, do you want this? Yeah, they're hungry. That smells just like my favorite fried ham. Mmm, so good, I can't move. Tastes just like mom. What? Well, not quite to mom's standards, but it was pretty tasty. I ain't had a bite to eat since I was locked up here. I was starving. Maria always brought food down to the basement. Didn't you have that? Everyone else was getting food but me. I was always unwanted. No use and just pissed people off so I was abandoned. That's really sad. Me. I'm going to die. Oh, come on. You know I did this. Oh, come on. Come on, this is really easy to me. Oh, 
to Mr. Putnam and Mr. The passage was a little cluttered, so I can get up. You you killed the ghost. You killed the ghost, man. There you go. Um, no, I don't know directions, right? Oh. There's mannequins. Oh, I usually appear in unexpected places. Yeah, you went the complete opposite way. So, did you solve the puzzle to open this door? I'm going to push you through the door. So we can have to be on the other side. Alright, we can do this. We can do this, buddy. Buddy. Buddy, you gotta work with me. No, don't, don't, don't do this. Do I have to put you all the way down here? I'm sorry, I just randomly said, huh, oh, there's a deer outside my window. And it's pretty cool. It's just wandering around my arm. I mean, I really like her. I mean, in the yard, we see deers all the time. So it's pretty, pretty cool. Yeah! But there's no flowers in this face. It makes me sad. So, okay, that's all you wanted to say is that there's a puzzle. Where is Fudge? Did I unlock another door instead? I don't know what to do. 